Even before 2020, gathering people into one place could always provide some challenges. It's typically more expensive and time consuming to bring everyone under one roof. The answer to these challenges has always been to connect people, whether that's a video call, phone call, social networks, or even going back as far to the days of messenger pigeons. Allowing people to connect has always been easier when bringing everyone together is a challenge. For some organizations, their ERP landscapes can be almost as spread out as their employees with multiple disconnected ERPs. These organizations face a choice. Bringing all these ERPs into one consolidated ERP could be an option, but like gathering people, this can take time and effort. So connecting their systems is often the preferred option. And much like video conferences, they can gain visibility and insight whilst also sharing information between them. This centralized approach allows companies to gain the benefit without the expensive and timely overhauls of existing landscapes. This is central procurement. With SAP central procurement, you can increase control over procurement processes in multiple connected systems, improve visibility by sharing documents created centrally to those connected systems, and see faster return on investment through centralization rather than consolidation. In this demonstration, we will see how a requisition can be raised quickly and easily by anyone in the organization, regardless of the backend system. How the requisition can be approved by the manager to control the spend before the creation of purchase orders. How suppliers can easily create invoices from those purchase orders they receive and how that invoice can be pre-validated before it reaches accounts payable. And finally, how the central procurement team can gain full visibility into these activities whilst the system shares accounting and purchase documentation to the relevant accounting systems. Meet Jim. Jim has worked for Best Run for a few years and the time has come for him to replace some of his IT equipment. Previously, this was a painful experience as purchase requisitions had to be raised within the ERP system itself. However, since then, Best Run have deployed guided buying to make the process much easier for infrequent shoppers and procurement professionals alike. Jim logs into his Fury Launchpad where he can find links to any activity he needs to perform. Directly from within this dashboard, Jim selects Guided Buying where he'll go to create his requisition. From here, Jim can use the personalized landing page to navigate through any of the categories available to him to find his item, but decides the easiest way is to search for it. The system will try and predict the search criteria as Jim is typing and then display all linked items available to Jim across the different buying channels. Jim selects the iPhone he wants to replace his current handset and adds it to his cart. The iPhone is coming from a catalogue which has been agreed between the procurement department and the supplier, so Jim doesn't need to be concerned if he's getting the correct price as all of this has been taken care of, leaving him to focus on exactly what he needs. Jim can easily see, once he's submitted this requisition, that it will go to Ben for approval. Jim decides to add a comment for Ben to see when approving to remind him of the earlier conversation they had about him upgrading his current phone. Ben gets a notification on his phone that a requisition needs his approval. He can quickly go to the procurement app and see all of the requisitions that he needs to approve in the same place that his own requisitions and shopping carts can be created. Ben can see Jim's requisition and all the details associated with it. He can see that he is the only approver in the chain and so approves to turn this purchase requisition into a purchase order. Jim gets full visibility of this approval. Important for Jim is to see the status change from submitted to ordered but also important for the organization and the accounts payable team is that the documents created have been replicated into the backend system, both centrally and the local ERPs. And finally, this purchase order has also been sent out across the business network digitally to the suppliers to process. Stephanie is a supplier who receives Jim's order. Stephanie's company connected to the network with the help of SAP Ariba and also has multiple customers of theirs on the business network, which provides them with much easier experience and full visibility 
into the invoice and payment statuses from all of those customers. As part of the rules defined by Best Run, Stephanie needs to confirm the order and send an advanced shipping notice. This helps Best Run stay compliant to their process and also gain insight into when to expect the order. When Jin receives the item, he can confirm that the item has arrived and create a goods receipt in the system to be used as part of the freeway match process. Now that Jim has confirmed the receipt of goods, Stephanie can invoice against that order. Using the purchase order flip process, Stephanie can take all of the information from the purchase order and quickly and easily create the invoice. Business rules as defined by Best Run are applied during the invoice creation process to ensure that any invoice that does not pass this pre-validation step is unable to be submitted. And therefore, any errors are caught before they reach accounts payable. In this instance, Stephanie is made aware that the invoice number has already been used and that the invoice has been backdated by more than the allowed number of days. Stephanie can easily see the errors that have been triggered and what she needs to do to fix them. Stephanie will need to make these changes before proceeding. This reduces the effort required by the accounts payable team in the invoice reconciliation process, but also ensures that Stephanie's company is more likely to be paid on time as the invoices have been corrected before they are sent. John works for the central procurement team of Best Run. John has a meeting with people from Stephanie's company this week and before he goes into it, he wants to see all the latest purchase orders and their statuses to be discussed during that meeting including the one Jim created. From the central hub, John can see the purchase order created by Jim and can see that it has been received and already invoiced. This central view of invoices is something that John previously didn't have and spent a lot of time and energy trying to find out before supplier meetings like the one he's got organized. Now that all the ERP systems are connected, not only can John review the data, but the central procurement team also find it much easier to direct spend towards preferred suppliers now that everyone is using guided buying for their procurement. SAP Central Procurement connects your multiple ERP systems to a central hub. Without the need to consolidate ERPs, you gain visibility and control over your spend without lengthy and costly projects to do so. Sometimes coming together isn't possible, but making that connection means that you don't have to wait to get talking and sharing.